this set up here. Okay, so we're just waiting on the teams there to start the draft. Let's see what happens here. Okay, and we're starting. Samurais in Disguise have first pick. I believe we are doing a no ban setup today, so it should be pretty easy to go. Okay, first pick up is Uther, so... Stun meta is still alive and well, so that'll be interesting to see what people do to counter that there. It'll be interesting without any bans to see what people kind of pick up and do with here. I bet we'll see a medic in this game, but that's just me. Okay. So say my name gets up with the next picks and it looks like we're doing some Garden of Terror tonight. So we got Kael'thas, first pick for Say My Name. And followed by Diablo. Oh, interesting. Get to see Lord Dibbles come out to play for a little bit tonight. That'll be fun. Uh, I haven't seen a actual draft pick Diablo in so long in any of the games that I've been watching, but it should be exciting. It would be exciting to see. So we got Samurais in Disguise. We're probably going to have to pick up something to deal with the massive amount of damage that Kale can put out in Diablo. It's also capable of putting out a ton of damage. It's not as much of a targeted damage. So yeah, Zagar is a great pick here because it can poke a lane and kind of push it back a while and keep them from over uh, taking over the entire map there. Okay, so get one more pick there for Sam Rise in Disguise. Which, by the way, so just for everybody's clarity, Sam Rise in Disguise is Blizzard Entertainment's team, and Say My Name is Riot Games. So, and they went up with a Vala, a nice safe pick, so. Vala's always a safe pick. Good at doing damage, good at doing a little bit of stuns if she goes with her ult. She can poke from a distance, and she's really good at burning down a single target if we really need to. Say my name goes with, ooh, Jaina Abathur. That's a very interesting combo. They still haven't picked up a healer, so I'll be interested to know who they go with here. The Abathur probably going to be going with the Locust builds, considering the maps, but they might be picking up a little bit more in as far as the uh, healing talents go. I don't know what they'll be going here. They've got a really burst-heavy comp with Jaina, Kael'thas. Diablo's just sitting in there, throwing people around, and Abathur hopefully keeping Diablo alive with those shields and extra damage. Okay, so let's see who Samurai this guy goes. Kerrigan! Ooh, that's an interesting pickup here. Uh, guess they're going to be going in for those combos with Kerrigan and Uther. Getting right in melee range and pushing them away. I'm curious who they're going to be picking up for their warrior here. Might see a Muradin get picked up here. Would be a pretty decent pickup here. Or... I don't know who else I would go with here. Maybe a Johanna, but she hasn't been seen as frequently lately, so... That'll be an interesting call. They're going to need somebody that can really take down the lanes and push out a little bit. Okay, and they're going into their shared time pool here, so... Anxiously waiting. Yeah, I would expect to see Muradin or Johanna being picked up here. Yeah, there we go. We got the Johanna. That's a good call for them. They'll be able to pick, pick up those uh, minions in lane very easily. Anybody in the stream, make sure you're chatting with each other and excited to see how this game goes. I'm betting they're going to go with Monk here. No, they might want the ranged. It might be, we might see a Rhaegar or a Medic um, that can keep them ba that backline healthy because... Kerrigan could easily hop back there. Oh, we got a Lili. That's exciting. I do love me some Lili's. Um, that'll really hurt Vala if she tries to go with that uh, auto attack build. 
So we'll see how they do there. So it looks like we're going to be ready to get started here. So any minute we will be switching over to that stream there. Waiting for them to get in there. I'm waiting for a couple more to be ready. Yep. Yeah, not a magnet. Your lovely Lily got picked there, so it'll be a Lily Lily good game. So much salt here. Okay, so let's just take a quick look here, and I guess I have to ready up. I have never casted a game before, so I will be the first to admit that this may not go as smoothly as we hope, so. Let's hope everything goes really well, though. <laughs> Got some friendly rivalry going on between the two game studios here. Okay. I wish there was a way to turn off messaging. I'll have to ask how other people do it. This should be a good game. I'm excited to see where people go here. Oh, we've even got the portrait skins of the Lili and Chen to level 10 with their Kerrigan here. So that'll be, they probably know what they're doing here. Just want to give a shout out too while we're waiting here to get this started to Studio Rumble. They did an awesome job getting all this set up so that these game studios can face off against each other, blow off little steam. It's fun making games all day, but it's also fun playing them. So it's nice to see that the studios get a little bit of chance to play. And of course, we expect to see that uh, Blizzard is doing quite well in their own game. So let's take a look at who we've got lined up here. We got B Song on Kerrigan. We got Strifey on their Johanna. Batman is playing Uther, got his nice money pig there, and Skakik on Vala there. Um, over on the other team here, we've got Jazzrail's playing Jaina. Jainum is on Abathur with that sweet Abathur master skin. We've got Rectifier playing Diablo, and down going bottom, we've got Super Villain on Lili and Tascan on Kael'thas. And not to forget, Jazzrail's going up top here. So we probably won't see too, too much this game as far as just simple early game attacks here oh we got some nice mines up in the front here Jaina's alone up top and Lily and Kale are alone down bottom so it looks like they may be trying to get some early ganks right away we are winning damage <laughs> they're just getting the BM started early here okay so yeah they're backing off their early gank squad afraid to lose too much XP so we see them rotating up top here. We're going to get Kerrigan, Uther, and Vala going up top. Jaina just playing back safe, looking to see what she can soak up here. And then down bottom, Zagara got the poke going on with a little bit of Uther. And Johanna just chilling out mid lane. Abathur patiently waiting, biding his time for a engage that he can have some fun with. Oh, and we got a nice little engage here on Diablo. What do we got down bottom here? So far, it's been a pretty basic game here. We just got a little bit of friendly poke back, back and forth. Oh, we got nobody mid now, so Rectifier can clear out some minions and get some XP as Kerrigan comes down, hopefully trying to get the pick off on Lily. Will they be able to get her before she gets in? And Lily goes down for the first kill of the game. Nighttime starts, so that's a big disadvantage for Team Red to be able to get back here. So up top we've got Jaina poking back against Vala. Neither of them have gone down for the seeds yet, which gives Rectifier the advantage that he can pick this off alone. However, the blue team has gone ahead and got all of the bottom seeds. Kael'thas looking a little bit lost of where to go there. Okay, and 
Red team is slowly catching up, and it looks like they're going to try to... Ooh, and Jaina goes down. We got Kerrigan diving in to see if she can... Oh, and Diablo body blocks himself. That's not going to end well for them. Lily can't outheal that damage that they are putting out. Down bottom, Zagara and Kael'thas just poking back and forth. Zagara's getting some really good push down bottom lane, which will help them if they can get a terror out right away. Okay, so it looks like Riot is doing a little bit better right now. They've got a little bit better lane presence, they've got more seeds, and they've got a bit more control. They're down three kills, so that's the best thing to keep seeing. Hey, Stefan. Glad to see you in the stream. Okay, so we got Blizzard coming in to see if they can take the end of this. Maybe pick off Kerrigan or Johanna as they zone them out. The so Garen and Kale staying bottom, making sure they can get that lane. Kale is extremely low. He's got to play very safe here. Oh, and we got to go down. And Johanna might be able to pull her way out. She does. It's the one thing about Johanna. She is impossible to kill. Oh, blue team is Blizzard. Yes, sorry. Hi, Stefan. Sorry, there's a little bit of a delay in the stream, so we might hear my stuff a little bit later there. And Lily gets out barely alive. Okay, yeah, sorry about that mix-up with Blizzard there. And again, I just got added to this game. Ooh, and R R Sagara gets caught out. Let's see if they can do enough damage or I don't think they'll be able to... Kale has to get out of before that Hydralisk takes him out, and it looks like he can get away. Abathur soaking up top. They've already drained all the ammo out of the top tower, so Blizzard's got quite the advantage here. Uther goes to check the bush. Oh, and he gets caught out. He should be able to make it out, though. Uther's a hardy lumberjack there, so I don't think they have to be too, too worried. Okay, we got a fight over the bottom boss here. It looks like Blizzard still has fairly decent control. Oh, and no, oh, good. Lily didn't get caught in that. And there we go. Oh, we got a fight. We got Diablo going in and Kerrigan going in. And it looks like they might be able to burn down Kael'thas in the back. Johanna's just ripping apart that back line. And Lily's able to keep Johanna... Oh, able to keep Lily alive, but... Kale almost peeled off there. Oh, and it looks like Blizzard's going to be getting that first terror. So they decide to rotate down and take the bottom mercs here, and it looks like they're going to be starting to move up and get some lane presence back again. Abathur's doing a good job pushing top here. They've got that back, but it looks like Zagara knows exactly where it is. Luckily, Kale can push her back, and it might be enough to so seal off a kill, and he gets it. Zagara goes down for the kill. Okay. Blue team is just sitting there, getting their mercs so they can get a good rotation before they take that Garden of Terror. I imagine Zagara is going to grab it when she comes back up, but we'll see what they do. We got Jaina pushing a little bit mid, and red team biding their time, waiting for Kerrigan, I bet, to overcommit a little bit before they go in and try to pull her out. And the terror goes up, and it looks like... Johanna has taken the terror. That's interesting to leave the tank this early game, but they know a bit more that they're doing about this, so. Okay, so it looks like everybody's gonna start piling in mid here to try to take care of this terror. They drop the terror in mid there, trying to cover as much of the tower and forts as possible, taking them out with one seed. Helps a little bit there, but it looks like they'll be able to burn it down really fast, especially with Kale and uh, Jane on that team. Zagara is still getting a pretty good push down bottom. Kales has to rotate down to deal with that. And it looks like they're going to take out those first towers there. Oh, they're s just hanging on with a touch of health. Johanna's going to go back in and try to drop a seed just to make sure that it goes. And she gets it off. That means that's probably going to lose those first gate and that first set of towers there. Again, Zagara being pushed back by Kale, but they've got their level 10s now, so they'll be able to pick up a little bit more. For the next game, I'm going to make sure I got the right interface in here, so we can see what talents they pick. 
first Terra goes down, and Johanna being in that actually works out really well because they can just push, and they just burn down three of them like it was butter. Ooh. That's very painful for the Riot team here, but we'll see. We'll see how they continue off on this. Abathur's gone with his evolution here so that he might be able to get some push in the off lanes while they're dealing with the bots here. Okay, so bot going down there, taking the Siege Giants, while Kale keeping his eye on what's going on. Okay, and then we got them rotating back to make sure they clear up some of those mercs so they can get a good thing and more push. Okay, looks like Riot's going to be moving down to try to catch somebody out on the Blizzard team, but oh, the only connect with Jaina, they can't dive too hard on that. Oh, and Blizzard jumping on Jaina there, and will she go down? No, Lili's ult keeps them up. They weren't able to stun her out of it, so she's able to give them a ton of health, but they're still fighting here. Zagara gets a good maw off. It looks like they're going to be able to get in there and pull them in and stun them, and there go the lead down. Jaina and Diablo are down, and it's nighttime, so that is a very bad timing for the Riot team. Okay, and we got Abathur push down that top board up there, which is good for Riot, but they're still going to be so far behind with those three kills that they just got. They need to start going and grab some seeds. Blizzard starting off with the big guy first. They know they can quite the advantage, so they want to take advantage while they can. Okay, so they take off their seeds. It looks like... Riot's going to be moving up a little bit here and grabbing enough seeds. They should be able to get enough off this top boss to get a little bit of a push. Zagara goes back to deal with Abathur's ultimate evolution, or not ultimate evolution, monstrosity. So he can get a little bit more, less push. Okay, and it looks like both teams are going to have enough if Blizzard can get up there to grab those last seeds to have a double siege. Okay, and Riot appears to be backing off, giving those to them. They know they can't really fight in this situation here. Two levels down, but with a Garden they, Terror, they might be able to push down a couple of forts. They'll bring them back up rather quickly. It's over for now. But don't so it looks like they're, both teams are going on a Merc rotation to try to get some advantage here. And Riot goes gets their Terror first to try to push them out. So we gotta push mid as Blizzard comes down to try to move in here. Oh, and that, that seed got ripped down really quickly. Kale alts down to try to burn down the towers just so they can get a little bit more XP there, it looks like. And the Terror is just dancing, waiting for his cooldowns in the bottom lane. Blizzard's now starting to push with their Terror. Oh, nice combo from Kerrigan there, and Jaina's gonna go down. No way Lily could heal out of that one. Looks like Kale's going to be able to get back with Lili as the Terror is starting to retreat to play defensively. It's usually a bad time when a Terror tries to do this. Uh, they get most of their advantage from pushing a lane as they don't have too many hero-specific abilities, so... Let's see if they can push it back again. They still have 30 seconds on their Terror, so they might be able to do something with it. As Blizzard pushes their Terror up top, Abathur, noticing he's in danger, starts to vacate the premises and he gets back to their core. Safe and sound. Riot makes their way up to rotate around, and they're not gonna be able to save this fort, though. Luckily, it looks like Riot is gonna be able to get at least, maybe able to get one of their forts down on bottom, but they are running out of time. Blizzard's starting to back off on their Riot, on their, on their Riot. Oh, boy, talking's hard today. And... No, well, they're keeping it out. They got the chase is real. It might be a bad time if they over extend on this. Yes, there it goes. Kerrigan's ulting in there. Oh, and Kale gets off a good ult. Will they be able to get the stuns? Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get any kills from either team on this one here. Ooh, we got a good pick from Zagara there as they wake up to get on the Maw. And there we go. We lose Lili. We lose Jaina. And we're going to lose Diablo too. Ooh. This isn't looking good for Team Riot. Okay, so... Team Riot. Kale does get out just in time there. 
So it looks like Blizzard's going to take the chance that they got off the advantage of that fight to push down another tower. They might even be able to get a keep before the Team Riot can get there to contest. So they're pushing it down. And it looks like they might get zoned out a little bit, but they're still going to be able to get it down. And middle keep is gone. That gives uh, Blizzard some catapults on the core, which will be very advantageous come the next night time. They're rotating up to try to take some mercs from Riot. And Riot is looking to see if they can catch out anybody, I believe, at this point. It's going to go clear some top and then move down. You can hear. I just realized that's still playing in the background. Sorry about that, everybody. Unless you liked it, let me know. Again, not too experienced with this, but it's good to give it a first shot. Also, in case anybody is just getting here and hasn't actually... I have no idea what's going on. This is the Studio Rumble semifinals, which is a tournament of Game Studio versus Game Studio. And in this game, we have Blizzard on Team Blue and Riot on Team Red. Ooh, and it looks like Blizzard might be coming in to try to get a pick off on somebody from the Riot team, but they are not. They back off just in time. So both teams are kind of just positioning themselves at the top terror here, trying to see what they should do. And Joanna goes in, but oh, and she's able to get out. That unstoppable is very helpful in these situations. Diablo's a little bit timid to jump in on her. So we're going down here as they position themselves yet again to see if it's going to be worth it to get in there for the fight. Okay, now that the vision from Zagera is gone, Diablo's going to try to make his way in. It looks like they might try to pick up a couple seeds or a... No, they're going to back off. We got Blizzard smartly moving up at this point. There's not too many seeds that they have to worry about here, and they're getting a little bit of lane clear to get some XP. And now they're going in, and they're going to try to get Kale. And it looks like Riot's going to be able to get out before they can get a good engage here. Ooh, and Kale goes in and just... Oh, Kale just ripped apart. But it looks like Diablo might be able to get Kerrigan. Let's see if they can focus fire on that. No, and Diablo and Lily go down as well. Oh, and as well as Jaina there. Ooh, that's an unpleasant timing for Riot there. But let's see what they can pull it back together in the last minute here. It looks like Blizzard's going to try to go in for the core kill at this point. They've got that level advantage. They are almost level 20. They might be able to burn it down. And here they go. They're still taking quite a bit of damage, so we'll have to see. But it looks like Blizzard is going to be able to take this game before Riot can get back up. And that will push us into game two of this tournament. Blizzard up. Team one. Ooh, and with the Zagara mod, the core, just to ensure the extra victory. Well, good game, guys. And it looks like Blizzard takes that one. So while we wait here, I gotta get rid of that there for us, and we'll get ready for the other team. If we look at those stats, oof, that Vala was just ripping apart the damage, and Johanna, tons of siege damage because she was grabbing the terror there. So I will wait till they remake the lobby, and in the meantime, we will just relax for a minute. Let's turn the music back on, and we will see how it goes. Good game, everybody. Noobs. <laughs> yeah, that was a good game. Blizzard just got control early game, and they were able to keep pushing there. While we wait now for everybody to get the next game set up, I'll wait to see if I can get a draft link yet again. I think I've got my stream set up. Hopefully it wasn't too hard to listen to for my first time casting a game here, everybody. I apologize if it's a little bit rough around the edges, but luckily at least we have a streamer. Though apparently Jhow is also doing it, so I 
feel free to check out Jayhouse Dream as well as he probably knows a little bit more about what he's doing. Oh, no, Bob, thank you. You made a good choice today. You followed the stream. Yeah, no problem. It was working out well, so. There's a little bit of a last minute cluster of excitement, we'll say. Yeah, Samurais were able to pull up that combo really well. I was, I was curious how it would go, but we'll see how they do in the next game. So I just want to reiterate something to the stream. Um, Studio Rumble is a self-run organization that organizes tournaments between game companies. It's not sponsored or run by any video game company. The fact that we are playing Blizzard games right now just because we wanted to play Blizzard games. We're all doing this on our free times. Teams are not official company sponsored teams. And we say team XYZ, team comps, etc. are not a actual affiliates of the companies themselves. The teams are just made up of members of the companies we don't have there's no stacked teams no one's trying to be the best of one company versus the best of another it's all just for fun just a kind of a nice way to blow off steam for all the teams um yeah this is the first time we've actually done public announcements for this game so we want to make sure that everybody kind of keeps their expectations down and not feeling too unwieldy and it looks like we've got the draft for the next one so let me just pull this up here And here we go. So, Say My Name gets first pick here. Sorry about that. That is the last draft. Yeah, but we just want to make sure everybody knows that this is just for fun. This is not any of official capacity of either of the companies that is... Just for fun, we're here to blow off some steam. Uh, I was participating in the tournament myself with my team from Big Viking Games. We did we did well for what we were. We were just kind of a ragtag team of employees wanting to play the game. Nothing official. So what do we got here? First pick we've got is Zagara. Zagara on Blackheart Bay is amazing with the amount of vision we can pull off. While Samurai's in Disguise pull off Uther for her first pick there. They do love that. That Paladin's lovely, lovely heels. So they're waiting here while they get their second pick in here. It'll be interesting to see if we get another stun made a comp going on here. Okay, and we got a Jaina, so that's going to be a nice burst. Some burst damage going off, and Uther with landing some stuns. We'll be interested to see if anybody grabs, picks up the new cleanse as it's all different now, so we get some Unstoppable that might help against those Uther stuns. Uther and Jaina can talk about the good old times when they remember Arthas before he went evil. They can have a nice little walk down memory lane while they're playing there. And we've got Kael'thas coming in with Johanna for Say My Name. That's a good, another stunny comp there with Kael'thas being one of the most picked heroes in games right now. So he's got a very high pick rate. He's just, he can blow out damage, he can stun, he can do a little of this, a little of that. So it's all good for them. And next up we got Samurais in Disguise. They're probably going to be looking at picking up some form of healer or warrior. This next pick would be my assume. My assume. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a good time here. Uh, my assumption. We got Vala and Kerrigan. Oh, that's a quick pick there. So they've got a lot of damage that they can pull out really quickly in this game. Say my name with the final two picks to try to counter this. If I was them here, I'd be looking at either a Rhaegar that can do those burst heals or a Medic that can keep them quite alive so that they can't get those 
I don't know if Manic has stun off the top of my head, though. It'll be interesting to see who they pick to heal out from this team, because that is a very bursty comp. If Kerrigan can get in there and land those combos, they're going to have a hard time staying away. And we got an Abathur and Lili again. Oh, this is a very familiar comp, I'd say. Looks very similar to what we saw in the game last time. And final pick is going out to Samurais in Disguise. We'll see what they do. I don't know who they'd pick here. I, I would like to see a Murden myself for the tank here. Just to give them that extra stun and that avatar just able to rip them apart. But we'll see what they decide to do. They may have some secret ideas in there. Okay, so we're going down to the final seconds. They go with Diablo again. It looks like we have almost all the exact same heroes that we saw in the last game. So this will be a interesting game as we've got almost the exact same comps laid out here, but this is good. We got a good one for Blackheart's Bay, and I love Blackheart's Bay. It's one of my favorite maps. The objectives on this one is, if you aren't familiar with Blizzard Heroes, is what you need to do is collect coins from either from camps or kills off heroes that are carrying coins, and then you turn them in for Blackheart to shoot cannons at the enemy structures. He will take out them in order and go through and just blow them up. It's very fun. So we're just getting ready to start here. Getting everybody joined into the lobby. That is one thing I'd love to see is a little bit easier to set up these lobbies. But again, first time doing this, so I have very little experience if there is a faster or easier way to do these. But we will find out. Okay, so let's turn that music down for a bit and we will get ready to start the game. So we got the team switching up their heroes a little bit, but it looks like they're just passing them back and forth. So again, I just want to reiterate to everybody that this is a game for fun. We aren't going to be seeing any too, too competitive games everyone's in here just to have fun teams are even just talking to each other throughout the game not having too much of a serious intense battle so expect the same out of everybody here we don't want to have to not able to do these in public anymore so we would love it if we could continue doing this and we're just waiting for the game to start And waiting. While we wait, thanks for everybody. We're super serial about our fun. It's very fun. I don't know. I'll be honest, when we were playing our games, we got a little bit intense too. It's it's hard not to get caught up in it when you just want to win. And don't forget, we can also check out at J House Stream. Make sure to go say hi to everybody over there. I think there's a few more people over there if you want to check him out. I don't mind at all. Don't worry. This is a very last minute thing, so we didn't know if anybody would be able to cast in. J House was luckily able to step up at the end and cast it for the team. So let's get started here. We've got Skakik on Vala, Strifey on Diablo, Pikax on Jaina. We've got Batman on. Uther here and B-Song on Kerrigan. On the other team, we've got Zagara with Jazrael this time. We've got Rectifier on Johanna. Jane M on Abathur. 
Tascan on Kale and Supervillain once again on Lily. I believe Supervillain was on Lily before. Don't quote me on that one. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So, start off, we've got everybody going mid. We got a it'll be a fun little showdown first thing of the game here. Red team's coming up and just picking up from before. And they're going right in on Diablo. Let's see if they can burn him down fast. And Diablo is going down quickly. Kerrigan gets the combo off. And Vala coming to see if she can follow it up. But are they going to be... And no, they are not able to get any members of the red team down. Okay. Oh, I forgot to switch it. My bad, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, so... Didn't miss too much, luckily. The ancient shrines awaken. Control them and let loose the dragon. Sorry about that. Rip my stream. Okay, so we're going in here, and we've got another little team skirmish coming around mid, but nothing too hard. We got red teams gonna be holding off a little bit on here, and it looks like they're gonna get some good push on bottom and we lost the Gera. Oh I didn't even see them go up on that. That was a quick gank. Timing of that is great so blue team can go get control of that top terror. Or that top shrine there. Red team looks like they'll be able to hold off bottom shrine here for a minute and there's Diablo is posturing a little bit, not wanting to overcommit to that shrine. I imagine he's waiting for somebody to go in before he goes to take it. Vala and Johanna staying mid to see if they can contest the shrine if it is to pop for either team at this point blue team goes in and grabs bottom shrine and it looks like they're going to start rotating up diablo zoned out by zagara top he can't do too much here okay so he's going to go back to lane get a little bit of xp so they can try to get a lead again we got vala and johanna with a little help from abathur just picking off mid here and it looks like red team is able to grab the first set of shrines of the game but they have not grabbed the dragon terror yet also i was lied to that was not blackheart bay so i don't know if that was just in there for fun or if they decided it was a different map so and it looks like blue team is able to take back the trop trop shrine the top shrine there while red team is able to maintain but it looks like there's going to be a rotation down to try to take back that blue shrine Kerrigan getting in position with Uther, and they're going in, but it doesn't look like she wants to commit too early because she wants to be able to get that Kale kill. They're going down to try to take it while Vala pushes back Johanna. The Gare is pushing top and almost able to take down, and no, they're not going to be able to take down Diablo, but they are going to be able to take back the Red Shrine. Making sure that nobody is able to. Trop Shrine for the Dragon Terror. Oh, thank you, Ghost Jaguar. My casting is literally just me talking about what I know and what I don't know. <laughs> Again, I forgot to switch to the proper interface for the new one that I just downloaded because I have no idea how to use it yet, but I believe I can't switch to it in-game, so we will find out. And blue team is pushing up the top shrine, and I just popped to another hero. Oh, uh, interesting. If I hit the number keys, we can go to pop to different heroes. That's very exciting to find out. <laughs> Okay, so let's zoom back out again as Zagara might get taken down, but no, Diablo is not able to grab the overpower on her quite yet. Vala sitting there trying to push back that Johanna so they can get some lane pressure, but I don't think you can... You can't do it. Johanna is just way too strong. Jaina moves back, just trying to deal with those Kael'thas pushes. Doesn't look like Pekex is going to be able to grab that bottom shrine, though. He does not want to go in to see what... Oh, and nothing up top here. They're still just kind of going back and forth with this game. There's not been too many big plays yet, but Zagara's getting greedy there, and she got to be careful. And no, she's going to get caught out. Uh, unfortunately, got to play a little safer than that. But at this point, it's not the end of the world, as they still have bottom shrines. They don't have to worry about losing a Dragon Terror to that. And we're waiting in mid here. We've got Abathur, I believe, helping out mid. I have lost Abathur on my map. I don't know where he has gone. He's missing from the minimap. Hopefully he's still in the game. <laughs> oh, and blue team captures this, and are they going to be able to take it? They are not. Yeah, Abathur has completely disappeared from the minimap.
He's off the map completely. I can't find him anywhere. Interesting. And there we go. It might be because I have selected a hero that his team is not on. I don't know. I may have broken something in my stream. We'll find out. Yeah, I don't know what I've done here. I've broken something. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I'm seeing through Uther's vision. I don't know how to get rid of this. I'm seeing through Janus. Now I'm seeing through Abathurst. I would love to know. If anybody knows how to fix that, let me know. Oh, there we go. I got it. I just had to select off of something. Let's hide all that. Okay, let's see how this works now. Sorry about that stream. So familiar with the game. I literally play the game, but I have never casted a game anymore. Just as a warning. Oh, and we've got Zagara going down up top. No, I wasn't selecting off anything, and it wasn't able to get rid of the uh, selection here. It's something with the observer interface is a little bit different. Um, I had to actually select something else, not select off. So, in the future, if that happens to anybody else, let them know. Okay, so blue team is going down here. We've got... Actually, no, it's not blue team. The colors have gotten messed up again for me. That's going to be confusing. But we have... Riot moving down. And we've got blue team is able to capture this shrine. Okay, so here we go. Looks like Diablo is going to be able to take back Trop Shrine. And they're going to lose Bottom Shrine again, though. Okay, yeah, the colors seem to be swapping, so... Unfortunately, we're not able to... I can't get that to work properly for me. Oh, and it looks like Kael'thas might be going down. Oh, and Lily is just able to keep him up, but we'll see if they are able to jump on them a little bit more. And no, they are not. Okay, so we are still posturing around this Dragonshire. And Diablo sends off an ult to try to get some stuns in here. And is he going to be able to take down Zagara? It looks like he is. He, they have control of both shrines now, and it looks like Vala is going to try to be able to take back everything. And it looks like they're going to be able to get that shrine. No! Jaina gets in there just last second, and... The dragon is taken by blue team first. We are eight minutes in, and that's the first dragon of this game. Yeah, for some reason, I don't seem to be able to unselect the blue team. And I'm not sure why. I hit a number, which seems to have caused the biggest problem here. See if I can select something else to try to get get that away. And Lily's going up with the alt and trying to get in there. Saves her team a little bit there. Okay, so we're going to keep going through here. The dragon is wasting a little bit here. He's not able to get in there as there's no minion push on that lane. So he is going to go through and try. And blue team's going to be pushing down bottom lane while the other team deals with the dragon. I'm going to try to figure out if I can get this figured out here. I apologize, stream. Again, first time ever doing this, so I'm not a super familiar. Hit E to reset. There we go. Thank you, Four Court Jester. You are my hero. Okay. Thank you so much. 
So here we go. We got. Looks like Lily might get tried to pick off, but nope, they're gonna back off a little bit here. And we've got Red Team picking up a little bit of some camps here to try to gain back some lane pressure. Blue's got a good feel on this game though, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, they're waiting top to see if they can try to catch out somebody from the blue team as soon as they come up here, but I don't think it's going to work out for them because they don't realize that all five of them are up here. Oh, and there they go down. And they're going to be able to get second. And they do get Vala from Blizzard. Oh, but the stun comes out and there goes down to the Gera. Hopefully, Johanna can peel for this Kael'thas so he doesn't get pulled out. And it looks like Johanna's going to go down though, unfortunately. Oh, and Lily comes in with the clutch heals, but is it, an it is not enough. Diablo getting the invulnerable there from Uther as they get out of that fight on top, it seems. Oh, thanks everybody. Thanks, McNasties. Which I also love your name, by the way. Okay, so we are going in here and... Are they going to be able to take down this fort before the next dragon shows up? It looks like it, and there goes Lily as well. If she can't... Oh, no. Apparently that Kung Fu Shuffle is just not enough. Vala is going to be going down mid to try to keep back some lane pressure. But oh, she's going to go grab that bottom shrine for them while the rest of the team stays up there and tries to get in there right away to grab a quick dragon. Zagaira is going to grab some siege giants while they wait. Because they cannot contest really that well at this point. And Jaina goes in and gets that dragon. Looks like the team's going to push mid here. Port Lily too strong. Oh, and it looks like Zagara's gonna go down too as Diablo overpowers her into that rest of the team. Not much you can do to get out of that. Looks like they're gonna be taking down this board as well. And Vala is just gonna sit down there and soak that bottom lane to make sure that those Siege Giants can't get any push. And they're rotating down bottom to make sure they can get rid of another fort. Oh, we have lost a hero. I don't know if there will be a pause. And they're back. Looks like we might have a pause while they wait. Oh, nope, they're all good. We are all good, no worries, guys. They still have another 20 seconds on that dragon to push. We'll see if they can burn it down before they lose another gate down here. It's a good ult by Kael'thas there, just to try to push them back a little bit before it gets too strong. And there goes the Dragon Knight. But they are in a great position for a team fight right now. Ooh, and a good heal, or a good catch out there in the mob, but we're going to lose Kael'thas as well. Oh, and Kerrigan decided to go over the tower here just to see if they can get that final kill, and we have an almost total team fight, team wipe there, except for the Abathur who is hanging out in the core. Oh, and it looks like Riot is calling it as Blizzard is going to go for the final push here. They should be able to get the final push. We'll see what they can do. And it looks like that will be a GG, everybody. This game is going to go to Blizzard. That was a good game from, game from Samurai's in Disguise, as well as Say My Name. Again, I just want to reiterate to everybody that this is a for fun tournament. There is no bad blood between companies. There is no crazy rivalries going on. It is just to have some fun and play some games together. Thank you everybody on the stream for tuning in. I hope you guys had fun. It was quite the fun time to get a first cast in here. Hopefully I can do some other ones. I don't believe there are any other games. They may be doing a game for fun tonight. I am not 100% sure if they'll do that third game or not. I'm going to message some of the team to see what exactly is going to be going on here. Now, now. No making fun of anybody on this stream. Everybody did a good job, I think. LOL for LOL. I get it.
We're just waiting to see if there is any there. In the meantime, just want to say thanks again to Studio Rumble for supporting all of this. We wouldn't be able to do it without him. Yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Yeah, it was a lot of fun too. I don't think we got to play against your team because we didn't make it far enough. So hopefully Samurais in Disguise can do you guys proud and do some good things here. One v one mid. Okay, well, thanks everybody for tuning into the stream. Uh, I will practice my casting. I have not done any casting before. I think that's all the games for tonight. I don't know if there's going to be any more. Uh, 